Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So, testing out the new GoPro camera, but then at the same time had some requests to be able to help see some speed tests running on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4. So I'm going to try and do my best to be able to help show that and kind of give you guys a better idea of what's happened on there. See if there's anything that's changed with some of the new updates from Starlink. Helping out with the NAT type being updated, how they do some stuff with Xbox Live to be able to try and help update and reduce packet losses. So let's see what's going on. Let's get started. Okay, so we'll get the Xbox up first here. I'm on my. Um, asus router for the network the nat type is open so that is something that they have fixed over time which is nice to be able to help see that so then let's go ahead and test the network speed and conditions and see what's going to be happening here so it's nice to see improvement because early on it was a nat type 3 and then eventually switched to a nat type 2 sometimes i would get a double nat type which not sure if that's just the same as the NAT Type 2 or not, but this is the only thing running on the network right now is just the Xbox. So hopefully we'll get some good speeds happening here if it wants to go. Hi. <laughs> Trying this out again on the GoPro. I just, I, it's going to be easier to set and try and film it this way than to try and figure out capturing devices on each of the different ones. So, wow, that's really not good at all. So, insanely good wireless strength, the 97%, but a download of 3.2 and an upload of 0.65 is atrocious with a almost 2, I mean, 1,928 millisecond latency. Uh, huh. <laughs> Something's not right there. With the 16% packet loss, <laughs> maybe that was some of the different errors happening. Let's try that one more time, just to be safe. Man, that's bad. Super, super bad. If this, because it still said NAT type was open, so I'm going to, if it still messes up this time, I'm going to pull it and connect up directly to the Wi-Fi from Starlink on the Starlink router. And that's definitely going to help give a big clue, because if for whatever reason it's causing this much of an issue going to the, coming off the auxiliary port, and drop in speeds. Oh my word. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I am connected really good. There was only a 2% packet loss this time, which is a lot better. But a 3 megabit download and a 0.9 upload with a 293 millisecond latency is there's something wrong there. So, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to switch it back over to the wireless network of coming off of the Starlink router and try and help go from there. So here I am back, I'm connected up to the other network. It is still in that type of open, and I still have a really good connection, but let's go ahead and test the network speed this time. Huh, what did it just do over there on the right? All right, let's try this again here. Hopefully we see some better results, and I wish I could understand why there is such a huge change happening coming off the auxiliary port. Um, I don't know if this is something new with a recent update or what's been going on. That is kind of frustrating that that's happening. Um, I wonder if it would do that same thing on a, just a router splitter if it was hardware connected, which I really don't feel like drilling a whole bunch of walls throughout. Now, yep, yeah, there you go. So we have a 3% packet loss, a 11 megabit upload with a 64.9 megabit download with a 256 millisecond latency going down. Wow, that is a very high latency. 96% um, 
wireless strength so I mean it is right up there nice and good strong connection um, man that's I mean that's it, it is what it is I'm not sure what version of wireless is on the Xbox so maybe I'm hitting upwards on the max on it for what it can do for download and upload but hmm, it's a bummer to see that kind of latency well at least now I know that we're gonna try and do some of those similar checks and let's go ahead and move on next to the Nintendo switch so here we are on the Nintendo Switch helping to check this out. I went ahead and directly connected up to the wireless coming off of Starlink. We're getting a NAT type of B, so I'm assuming that's NAT type 2. The download is 7.2 and an upload of 9.1. That is odd why the upload is actually faster than the download huh um let's go ahead and try that one more time here and see if we get kind of consistent results so temp number two here let's see if we still get yep that type of b this is still being directly connected up to starlink and what are we going to get for a download or upload huh Still 8 on the down and a 10.5 on the up. That is super weird to see uploads faster than the download. Huh. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now is going to switch over to the auxiliary port that I have, the um, my other router, to see if it is any different on the network from there. Okay, so now I'm connected up off of my ASUS router. Still NAT type B. And let's see if we get any kind of different for download or upload speeds. Hitting through that auxiliary port going off to the other router. Ha! Well, okay. Uh, that's nice to see. So the download definitely did increase by a dramatic amount. All the way up to 25 megabit down with a 9.4 up. Sweet. Okay. So then let's go ahead and try this one more time just for consistency. So here is attempt number two using the ASUS router connected off the auxiliary port on the Starlink. Um, so this is still hitting NAT type B, which is it's fine. It's NAT type two. All right, what happened now? So then the download dropped to a 7.9, but upload increased to a 12.1. I, I don't know. Those are still more than fast enough speeds to be able to set and play games, but I just it's odd why it is not wanting to pull the higher speeds that it can. Okay, so here we are on PlayStation using the ASUS router coming off the auxiliary port. Let's see what we have here, NAT type 2. Let's see what we have for some download. So 39 megabit on a down, 2.1 on the up? What? Ah, okay. Let's try this one more time to be able to try and check for consistency. Here. Okay, so again, testing a second time here. Just trying to be able to help make can see. This is using, again, the auxiliary port. So 42 down with a 2.3 up. Why in the world is the upload so slow? Oh, it makes no sense, which is really weird. Because whenever I set and play online, that um, this actually works better. The PlayStation 4 works better playing Fortnite online than the Xbox does. I don't know if that's some of the packet loss stuff that was happening and some of the things that they've been working on, but I'm going to go ahead and switch over back to being directly connected to the Starlink router and see what we see for some differences there. So here we are. We are directly connected up to the wireless router from Starlink. Still get a NAT type 2. Let's see what we're getting for difference between download and upload speeds though. So 28 on the down, 3.3 on the up. Okay. Let's check one more time just for consistency here. Still weird why the upload is so small. Okay, attempt number two here. We are checking again directly connected to the wireless router coming from Starlink. See if we get any difference in download and uploads. 28.6 down, 2.4 up. Why in the world are the uploads so 
thinking small. Man, that's frustrating. Okay. Okay. Just for connection pieces, um, I'm going to help the show also Roku at the same time. Why not? And let's see what's actually happening here. Let's see if we get... Connection successful. Internet download speed of 39 megabits per second. Let's check out one more time here. No, no, I don't get uploads because obviously I'm just downloading from Roku. But it's already significantly higher than a lot of the other different gaming consoles, which is odd. But this is... Actually, which connection is this one? This one should be... Well, I'll find out here in a second. And so this is the one that's directly connected to the um, Starlink router. And there's a 56 megabit per second. That, how that How is 56 megabits per second only good? That should be excellent. I'll get excellent signal strength. Okay, so very high download speeds being able to happen for Roku. So that's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and double check this with the um, Asus router and just be able to try and have some extra comparisons here. So here we are is trying to connect up off of the router from the auxiliary port. And... Uh, okay, let's check the connection. Let's see what we got going on here. Got a nice download of 45 megabits per second. So. No issues happening there on the routers for being able to connect up to be able to set and stream for like online video services. So that's nice to see. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I do know though that whenever trying to use the Xbox, you're definitely going to need to connect up to the Starlink router um, to be able to help try and make that work a little bit better. If you are doing, if you're somebody that's actually having just your own personal router coming straight off the power brick, definitely comment down below. Let me know for specifically the Xbox, because that seems to be where the highest amount of issues are happening for a lot of the other different ones. Um, it does seem that my Asus router connect off the auxiliary port does do slightly better on the Nintendo Switch. So that's nice to be able to see the PlayStation. Um, seems about the same between both of them. Roku seems about the same for both of them. It's just still the Xbox. Um, and it's weird though, that I have NAT type twos that are slightly restricted on the PlayStation and switch yet. It's open on the Xbox. So they're really trying hard on Xbox in order to be able to help keep that open and trying to help to improve that so far. So. If you liked that video, hit the like button for me. Um, comment down below. Help to give me some feedback. If there's other different ways I should be trying to check out and testing some of these ones, definitely let me know. Uh, let me know how it worked for being able to try and do just like videoing the screen. Um, if you know some different programs that I could try to use for either the Xbox, the Switch, or the PlayStation 4 that can help to do screen capturing, I don't really want to have to set and connect up like an external device that would plug into the HDMI port and that would like connect into there to be able to try and record off. I just, that seems like a lot more hassle than what it's worth. Otherwise though, thanks again for watching. Peace everybody.